Hello everyone and welcome to the order. Now this is not a planned video because something weird happened. I was playing some Legacy of the Void and my PC started restarting. Hmm, I didn't know what was the problem. But after finishing my diagnostics I realized that the problem was in my GPU. Upon further inspection I realized that this capacitor is blown and needs to be repaired. Now these are my two GPUs. This is my old 4850 and this is my current 4850. Now this 4850 has a damaged core and thus it doesn't work. And as you can see on this one I did some modifications to the cooling because it was running a bit hot and the VRMs were running terribly hot. So because these two cards have the same PCB I'm going to take this capacitor from this one and solder it on this one. Remember, before handling electronics you must be grounded properly or else you may damage your device. In the video you won't see the anti-static wristband on my hand because I ran the cable through my sleeve so that it won't get in the way. Also make sure that you have the right equipment so that you can do the intervention properly. So now we will proceed to the unsoldering. Keep in mind that these PCBs are awfully hard to solder so you may have to turn up your soldering iron to some ridiculous temperatures so let's begin I'm adding a little bit of solder because the factory one melts it at a very high temperature. So, okay. I do believe we can extract it now. And there it is. Now I'm going to remove the old capacitor from my current HD 4850. It's this one right here, the first one. And I do apologize that it's a bit dusty. So we're going to add some solder once again. Make sure that your soldering iron is grounded properly or else you may damage your GPU. When soldering, make sure that you hold the iron as little as possible or else you may damage your component. Okay, now I believe we can move on to extraction. And here we go. As you can see the capacitor is indeed damaged. So let's move on to the replacement. 
Now before we move on to the replacement I must clean the excess solder of the board. <coughs> this is my copper soldering wick. It will take away all of the excess copper uh, solder. Sorry. This is a soldering pump, by the way. And we are done. Here is how the PCB looks like after I removed all of the excess solder. Now I've already put the capacitor back and I'm gonna thin it a little bit. Okay, now it's holding and now I can proceed to the soldering. I'll take away some of the solder once again. Before I mounted the capacitor, I took a measurement with my multimeter to make sure that it's working properly. And finally, we're going to clean the PCB with an alcohol soaked cotton swab. And we are done. And so, here is the end result of the whole intervention. And so the repair is complete. We took the capacitor from here and swapped it here. All I have to do now is test the GPU. I am pretty sure that it will work, but it would be unfortunate if it doesn't because currently I cannot afford a new GPU and I will be stuck with my good old S3 Trio 64V Plus, which as you can see is not doing so well. So let's proceed to the tests. So I have installed the GPU in my system and I am running Firmark for the second time and the temperatures look good. I have reinstalled the drivers, I ran a stress test and I played some Legacy of the Void and there were no problems. Well, I can say that the repair is a success. And so this concludes this quick repair video. As always, like, comment and subscribe for more tech videos. The order signing out.